Peace and welcome to this special edition of Reason with Boise. My name is Boise. I was your servant for this moment. Everyone has a story. This is mine. This is the title of the story and the book. Here with us is the author of Everyone Has a Story. This is my Mr. Marcus Jones. Hey, how you doing? Welcome man? to Reason, my brother. Listen. Everyone has a story. You know, I got a story, too. Nah. <laughs> you know, but I can't tell my story, but we want to <laughs> talk about your story. Who is Marcus, Joe? Well, um, tell us a little bit about Marcus, Joe. Marcus is a man uh, trying to be more responsible who is still on the road to uh, being successful. Uh, I grew up on the south side of Chicago uh, without a dad. Unfortunately, I had a family who instilled in me good morals. Mm -hmm. Uh, I went to grammar school, graduated, went to high school, graduated. And even though I kind of struggled in the school, I made it through. And uh, as I look back on those years, I'm glad that I attended school and graduated because it helped mold and guide me in what I should be and could be doing today. After graduating, I, knew, I know now I should have went straight into college. But I chose another life which led me to get shot four times and ultimately being in a wheelchair. Now, let me ask you this question now. You, why did you write this book? I know you, I know the uh, book start at the age of 13. Mm -hmm. Talk about that for a moment. Why 13? Why not eight? Why not? But you started the book at the age of 13. Yes. Well, uh, around that age as well, um, the teenagers, uh, the youth, I should say, uh, started having problems and engaging in uh, other folks outside of the home, mm -hmm. uh, mainly the streets. Mm -hmm. If they're not getting love at home, they're going to get it from somewhere else. And as this hip-hop world and everything is like in the streets now. So that's why I wanted to target at age 13. Now, uh, and why did you write the book? I mean, why did you write this book? Because... Uh, I wanted to share my experience and knowledges with the uh, youth uh, in hopes that it will change their way of their lifestyle into a better person. Now, you attended uh, uh, Kenwood Academy? Yes. And the, the high school, right? Yes, yes. And did, were you involved in sports? Yes. Uh, I, I was on a football team my senior year. Okay. And, and, and it's just part of the thing we're trying to drive at. You was on a football team, athletic. You know, yes. A uh, well, beautiful young man. Mm -hmm. I mean, involved in, in all the good stuff. But in your book, you talk about these two lifestyles. Yes. Talk about the, those, these two lifestyles. Well, um, one was, like you said, the, the books in school. The other was the street life. Mm -hmm. uh, and in there, you know, uh, and going through high school, the peer pressure comes. And... I couldn't, like, get away from it because it's, all, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I just uh, got peer pressure into uh, the street life. When did the street life begin to take more of an influence over you than the academics or the school piece? I mean, because young people need to know this. What was the point that you began to sway into the street life. Do you recall that? Well, um, in high school, uh, you, you have freedom away from home. Uh, there's really not that much uh, guidance from parents. And um, it, it tended to sway me in the tr going through high school, my years in high school. When you say guidance from parents, what do you mean? Because see, people need to know that. Um, discipline. 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 Um, a lot of, because of the way society is now, uh, because when I was growing up, we was disciplined. Uh, but now the way society is now, uh, they don't really discipline because they say that's too hard for your children or you talking too loud, you arguing at them. But uh, when I was growing up, uh, discipline was, uh, it, it was, it was harsh. Tell us something about the street life. Tell our, our, our viewers something about the street life. What did you do? What, what did you do in the street life? Talk about that. I mean, what were you involved in in this so-called street life? Well, uh, in gangs. In gangs, huh? In gangs. Um, 
out here having unprotected sex. Okay. Um, player, and, player. Huh? Player, player. Um, bling, and, bling, the whole <laughs> shot. <huh? laughs> yes. Um, and also just uh, staying out all hours of the night, you know, um, and just not listening to my parents. Did you get kicked off the football team or did that? What happened there? I mean, how how were you able to sustain these two street life, messing with that life, and then a football player? How were you able to handle those? Well, uh, school was school, and the streets was the streets. So it's like when, when the, the Superman and, and Clark Kent <laughs> personalities, right? Pretty much. You pretty had the much. glasses on during the day, and you put the cape on at night, huh? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now let me ask you so. You you spoke about. Uh, early in the show that you got shot. What led up to you getting shot? Were you involved in drugs? Were you, what were you doing? Well, like I said, I was uh, involved in gangs, uh, dealing in drugs, and I just um, ultimately, I, uh, wow. All right, take your time. Okay. Take your time. Um, Ultimately, uh, it just overwhelmed me. Um, when you say overwhelmed, what do you mean by that? I mean... Um, it was coming too fast? It was we coming too fast. Money coming too fast, things coming too fast? Everything was coming too did you fast. Start, did, did you start using the product? I mean, the drugs? No. You, you wasn't using it? No. No, okay. not, didn't use drugs. So you say it was coming to you real fast, what do you mean? As far as... Uh, the uh, the attention okay. into selling the drugs, uh, the uh, the immediate the immediate uh, bling bling as they see right. all the uh, videos and everything, right. all that was just coming too fast. Did that me. have an influence on you, looking at these videos, looking at these so-called gangster rappers? Yes. That does have an influence on young people. Yes. Looking at cameras. Tell those folks that <laughs> that does have an influence. That does have an influence on you. You know, when they're looking at, they say, looking at the so-called gangsters that F the police and all, that have, an, that, that have influence, right? Yes. Because, see, we got young people here in the studio that's behind these cameras, and they need to know this. Mm -hmm. Now, you say you can't overwhelm me. Mm -hmm. What happened? Well, I uh... Mean, we overwhelm me. The money was coming quick. Uh, the cats you thought was your boys, the cats they I thought started acting crazy. Yes. What about the females? Uh, they you, was everywhere. Yeah, you, you know. thought they loved you, but they was really there for... For the money. For the money. Yes. So in reality, you was just a trick. Well, no. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Wait no. a minute. Come on. No. <laughs> I ain't no. <laughs> yeah, no go, no. I ain't going down no. like that, Jack. I'll no. go along with a lot of stuff. No, but go ahead. We say. Everybody was there for the money, right? Yes. Uh, okay. The immediate gratification. Okay. So uh, that's pretty much what uh, the young, uh, the youth want now, the, the immediate overnight gratification. So, and it doesn't come like that. You really have to get out here and work hard for whatever you want in life. Okay. What would I guess? Brother Marcus Jones, the author, Everyone Has a Story. This is mine. It's a book. It talks about his life. It's a hell of a book. Uh, we won't be able to get it all today, but we're going to get somewhere. What happened? Take me to the, the day or the night that you got shot. What happened? Well, that night, uh, well, morning, I should say, mm -hmm. um, I and uh, another partner of mine uh, went into somebody's house uh, and attempted to uh, rob them. And uh, we got caught off guard. Wait a minute. It was going in the house to rob them? Yes. Why? I mean, you had the money. You had the drugs. Yeah, you but... You was greedy? What yeah. was it? Uh, that, too. And also, uh, just to uh, have recognition from the streets. Uh, okay. You have... And that's, uh, a, that's, that's why I asked the question. See, I want young folks to know. See, even though you had all this stuff, but you still needed that street rep. Yes. You needed that reputation of being this bad mother, you know? Yes. But go ahead. What happened? And, um... What had happened was uh, we went in there, got caught off guard, and um, as I was exiting, um, I tried to jump down the was steps. Was it another drug dealer? Yes. Okay, another drug dealer. Yes, another okay. drug dealer. And uh, as I was exiting, I j tried to jump down the 
rest of the flight of the stairs mm -hmm. and um, heard the shot, didn't pay no attention to it. And um, before I knew it, I had collapsed. Okay. And uh, tried to get back up, but couldn't. Couldn't move. Couldn't move. And then what happened? And then um, uh, as I was pulling myself out the door, uh, Everybody in the neighborhood, you know, comes out and they look because they heard the shots. Now, now the, now the people who had shot you, why didn't they just come over and finish you off two times in the head? What happened? Well, actually, he did say that, but um, God was with me that day. Okay. God was so with God me God was day. using you as a, as to say, I'm going to spare you to, so you can do this work. And tell my story. Okay, so you was um, trying to pull yourself up and then the neighborhood came and what happened? And, um... A young lady came, and uh, I sat up, and she asked me, was I all right? And I told her, no, could you call the ambulance? Mm -hmm. And the ambulance came and uh, carried me away. And uh, going to the uh, hospital, I was in and out, fading in and out. And uh, as I got to the hospital, uh, going to the operating room, and the doctor told me to, uh, you know. You was conscious. I was Fading in and in out. In and out, in conscious, semi-conscious, in and out. Okay, go ahead. Yes. The doctor told you? Um, as we get into the operating room, the doctor told me to count down from 10, you know, just like in the movies, you know. Um, and after the operation and everything, I woke up. Uh, the doctor told me that uh, I would never be able to walk again. And what did you say? I was stunned. I was, I was in shock. Um, you didn't the, believe it, huh? I couldn't believe it. Not at that time. Mm -hmm. But um, now, how old were you at the time? At that time, I was uh, 22. 22, okay. Go ahead. Yes. And he told me I'd never be able to walk again. And I just, uh, uh, you know, so many things went through my head. You know, uh, I, I no, didn't think I'd ever be able to stand up, walk, or um, run. Now, because we're going to have a couple of minutes for the segment, and we got to do this again. It's all going peace. So you couldn't walk, and they still sent you to the county jail. Yes. Uh, from the hospital, I went to the county jail, stayed about a month, and from the county hospital, I went to the county jail. Mm -hmm. And from the county jail, I went to the prison, the penitentiary. How much time did you get? Uh, they sentenced me to 10 years. They sentenced you to 10 years, and you the one got shot? Yes. Did you shoot anybody? No. So what happened to the guy who shot you? Uh, he went to jail. He went to jail, and uh, but he got out before I did. What happened to your partner? I mean, your ride? Uh, he, uh, and like most people would have probably would done, he went in panic and uh, didn't see him. So he, he never got... He got caught eventually okay. and um, got more time than I did. And, Why did um, he get more time than you? Uh, his, his, his record for a oh, sheet yeah. was probably longer than mine. Yeah, his so, sheet so, yeah, 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 so, yeah. was longer for me. <laughs> State Street, right? Right, right. Okay. So um, now um, it's just it's, 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 it's a good thing for me now because, like I say, I get to share my experience and my knowledge to the youth. Let me say this. We're out of time for this segment, but we're going to bring you back. Mm -hmm. The book, Everyone Has a Story, This Is Mine, the author, and a strong brother, Marcus Jones. We've got to do this again, my brother. Oh, yes. Listen, this has been Breezing with Boise. We're going to do this again. Until the next time, peace. <laughs>